Hi, good morning, children. So today we have Saksham Gaba with us, and Saksham is doing his post uh, his uh, B.Sc. Honors in Statistics from P.G. D.A.V. D.A.V. College, Lajpat Nagar, which is a, a part of Delhi University. So today, Saksham is going to talk about his course and the eligibility and various career options and possibilities which are there with this course. So welcome to Education View three sixty, Saksham. thank you so much ma'am thank you saksham so saksham now uh, moving diving straight into our question answer session first of all please tell our students that what is the eligibility for the course if they want to take up bsc honors in statistics from delhi university so the eligibility criteria is first of all like you you must have mathematics subject as your subject in your class 12th and you have to appear only for those subject uh, which you have studied in class 12 so math giving a mathematics paper is compulsory and you must have prior knowledge about it also excellent so i'll just summarize saksham what you said so children basically for cuet if you are looking at delhi university saksham said for bsc statistics honors you have to have maths as a compulsory subject then you also have to write cuet for one language and any language you can choose from the list which is available in the bulletin of information and then you can choose any two other subjects but the condition is that you should have studied those subjects in your class 11th and 12th level all right saksham so uh, just tell our students what should be the approximate uh, marks that they should expect to get admission in a good college and before that i would request you to tell the students which are the good colleges in delhi university that offer this course so there are only 10 colleges out of like a numerous amount of colleges that are only statistics uh, are uh, offered so from 10 colleges i'll tell you the uh, from 10 colleges i'll tell you the first five uh, colleges that are very good so first of all this is uh, hindu which is uh, located in uh, north campus then it is lady shri ram college for women only and uh, there is uh, then there is kirorimal college then there is ramjas college and then the pgdv college the uh, this the top 5 rankings are just based on the uh, teaching the faculty the faculty are i say very good over there i'm not talking about the environment and any other kind of uh, the stuff you can talk about but i'm just talking about the uh, teaching stuff if you place other activities over it then the uh, ranking will be changed and for getting a good marks i'll tell uh, 720 uh, plus from uh, out of 800 will be a good structure to get into top these colleges also all right so students is uh, thank you saksham for giving a list of the top 5 colleges and students so uh, 720 so that means you should aim for anything above uh, 730 or 740 to be on a safer side because day after day the competition is also increasing for delhi university and the aim should be to get into the best of the colleges perfect saksham so moving on to our next question now Uh, after you told us the eligibility and the marks so uh, now let's assume that students have cleared their cuet what is the next step then what do they do the next step is from to uh, fill up a form from css portal which is uh, after the examination and after the result the delhi university will uh, give you to after then uh, you have to prepare a preference sheet so that's where the uh, like uh, the most important part comes so filling up the preference sheet i think that it's very important for student and you have to fill it very wisely also so in my case i do get a 720 marks but uh, didn't get any hindu or, or north campus because uh, i didn't wisely fill up my preference sheet so i'll all apply so i all tell you to uh, please fill it wisely as per according to the ranking as per what your marks you have get if you get a very low marks But I'll say you didn't get any seven twenty out of like an and above. You get a six hundred or even five fifty. You can still get a Delhi University in statistics honors, but you have to wisely fill your preference 
like it by you should fill like la last five colleges so that you can get admission over it uh, uh section uh, so you basically uh, after having scored one of the highest marks i mean which is a very respectable mark you are saying you could not make it to the hindu and you did some mistakes so could you elaborate on it what was the mistake that you did so that my aim is basically children learn from your experience and don't repeat that mistake so what are you are suggesting is that they should start the preference sheet from the highest college to the lowest or from the lowest to the highest how does it go um it depend on the circumstances on how you get the marks so mm -hmm. if you get a very in um, in my case it was first time the cvt happened for the first time we didn't know how the competition work like we didn't know how the other students scored we didn't know how the other stuff is going so, so what was, my aim what, was the, what preference did you give in your preference sheet and what should have been the ideal preference can you compare two preferences that you gave and that you should have actually given Okay, if, sure, ma'am. So I told you earlier just some. Uh, we didn't know about the competition, so my only aim is to get admission into the university. Because uh, after getting class twelfth, we only aim for uh, university of Delhi. So I just filled up the all the courses that I, I am eligible for that. So I just also uh, for my preference for top ten, I had uh, I choose statistics as my uh, subject for. Yet, so I just ran PGDV College in my top two or top three because I just wanted to get admission. But now the pictures are very clear. I'll tell you how to uh, pick up the wisely preference sheet. So if you get a good marks, uh, which is seven twenty plus, you will definitely get a North Campus or even a South Campus College. But I'll prefer you to go into the Hindu College as the the faculty is absolutely phenomenal over there. But uh, in my case. There is a faculty. There is also faculty which is very good. Uh, there is a gold medalist, ma'am, who is uh, teaching us at the PGDV College. And uh, I'll say, please wisely prepare your preference sheet. Even if you get a low mass, like for example, as I already told you, five hundred or even six fifty for unreserved category. I'm talking about mm -hmm. uh, or any kind of quota like sport quota and other LCC certificate. You will get uh, another uh, hands up over there. But uh, if you get a low mass, try to take the colleges that are below, like top five colleges I have talked about, like Hindu, PGDV College, Glory Mal, Lady Shri Ram. So if you don't get admission, uh, if you don't have good marks over there, so please try to uh, take the lower colleges, lower five colleges. It is, for example, Madhya Sundari College for Women's Shri Venkateshwar College. All other the college. Perfect. So that makes it amply clear. I'll just summarize it quickly. So students, basically, if you are in the highest slot of marks, then it is always wise to place the best colleges on top so that you get your first, second, or third choice. And if your marks are average or below average, then you can put up the colleges which are. lower in the ranking order though as saksham said that the faculty is more or less good at every college and there are teachers who are always aspiring to teach their students still nevertheless okay all right so saksham uh, uh, another question i wanted to ask is is uh, the knowledge of uh, statistics mandatory before joining this course i mean uh, would you really supposing i haven't studied uh, statistics at all but i have uh, studied mathematics so is that sufficient or do i need to have some specialization in statistics well, there is a subject in economics like statistics which you calculate mean median mode average coefficient of deviation and range and all that stuff like it's the basic when you enter in the college it's all will be the basic uh, but you do, do need to have a good hands over mathematics like i'll say mathematics is all in the subject like uh, it's very deep into it so you really need to have hands up in your mathematics in class 12th or in class 11th also okay. both right thank you now uh, every new education policy 2020 is a buzzword everywhere in the education sector yes, so how has nep 2020 affected the college education uh, before uh, we were the first batch which has the nep 2020 earlier was some cbec so now the colleges has so now the government has focuses on like uh, there are multiple courses had uh, add up on i'll just talk about it 
for the first three are like the core subject which you need to study and that's the uh, strength of the course from statistics the first i'll tell you uh, that uh, descriptive statistics first core second core is your uh, introduction to probability and third is your calculus i am just talking about semester 1 and this subject will be changes after that then there is a g which is general electric you have to take it other from your parent department so let us suppose my statistics so i cannot choose any g that is related from my department so you have to take it from other department like from economics or from computer science or from political for history and now let's talk about sec which is skill enhancement course as per the name suggest it will enhance your skills you can take for statistics student i will apply you apply uh, i will say you to please take into computer science courses it will really help you in data analysis so you can take python you can take r you can take spss you can take multiple numerous option are also there and not for any kind of uh, computer science there are also hindi courses like sachmatmat nikhan and all there are different kinds of courses which are available so now it's another uh, vac which is value addition course as the name suggests you can value added into a course so you can take vedic math you can take finance in everyone and you can take communication in professional life you can take communication in everyday life there are multiple choice of question which are which the college gives you and then there is aec the government has focused to give a upper hand in regional languages for example in our case for honor students in odd semester we have hindi which is compulsory you cannot deny it and in even semester we have evs so this is how the new education policy works and there is another job which is we are dealing from now uh, earlier uh, the, earlier there were used to be 3 years degrees of program courses but now it is multiple entry and exit points so from now you can apply for 3 year courses even for one two second year third year and fourth year also you can go for fourth year so uh, in first year if you want to exit the college for due to any circumstances or any like a natural event has happened so you will get a certificate after completing your completing your first year after you exit for second year you will get a diploma uh, exiting from a third year you will get an honors degree if you have an honors course if you have a program course you will get a program course degree even uh, if you want to continue for fourth year you will get a honors plus research degree for honors students and if you have a program course if you continue for fourth year you will get an honors degree so let's talk about like uh, bcom program after exiting from third year you will get a program degree but after exiting from fourth year you will get a bcom honors degree so that's how the structure of nep works and that's amazing because there are a lot of students who sometimes aspire to take up the honors course but because of less marks in their uh, uh, cuet they are not able to make it so there is another opportunity waiting for them they can study for one more year and they can convert their pass course general pass course into honors course perfect all right so uh, uh, you've given a lot of detailed information now uh, uh, my only uh, question is that how where do you see yourself what sort of work you uh, see yourself doing after doing this course in terms of your career and job so data analysis words is now trending all over the world and even in india so we we are the actual meaning of data analysis after completing your bsc you can apply for msc or like msc from anywhere you can go for abroad also and in delhi university also so after completing your msc you will get a certified uh, degree and honors and you will get a job into data analysis okay. where you will play with the numbers and all yeah i think it's not, not only trending i think it's the need of the art so much data is being generated from all the platforms across the globe so some like ai also is trending. trending correct yes, somebody has to analyze and make sense of all that data all right now yes. uh, uh, another question that has come to my mind how are the placements happening nowadays because the economy is not doing very well all over the world so are you getting companies coming and taking these students for various placement offers are they rolling out the offers and how is it going yes ma'am they are rolling out the offer a uh, big firm has come to our college i didn't apply for it because i really wanted to do 
MSc in statistics. So uh, from our batches, from some students had applied for it and they get a good job uh, at around, if I remember it, it's around 11 LPA. All right. After just completing your BSc, yeah. it's CTC, I'll say. Okay. It's not in, in hand, mm -hmm. it's a CTC. So uh, the, it's a very good, uh, even in PGDAV college, the companies are coming. If you get admission into Hindu or not campuses, mm -hmm. the, uh, definitely there is, the, there, uh, it's going to get upper hand. But I'll suggest you to please complete the BSc and then your MSc. Right. If you complete MSC, your yeah, MSc I'll, from a yeah 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 please go on yes, ma yes, ma yeah please go on if you complete MSc if you complete MSc from a very recognized colleges you definitely get a good package wonderful right. wonderful can you list out these MSc when you say very good recognized colleges can you list mm -hmm. out these colleges for our students sure ma'am sure so first of all colleges IIT Bombay yes IIT also offers MSc statistics then it's IIT Kanpur. It's do also statistics and for then Delhi, Delhi University also uh, re, uh, after five, four to five days my examination examination is over there by CUT PG just like CUT UG you have to appear for CUT PG if you want to get admission into Delhi University good colleges only four to five colleges offers uh, MSc and then there is BHU which is Banaras Hindu University uh, these are the top ranked colleges I'll say and if I'll say the or total seat ranking is around 400. Yes. So it will really give, give you a very upper hand getting a job in like uh, even after saying IIT Bombay I doesn't need to give any kind of explanation how MSc is over there. Correct. Thank you so much for very very comprehensive interview and information that you've given to our students and I wish you all the best mm -hmm. for your CUET PG and uh, keeping the fingers crossed that may you make it to one of the best colleges probably mm -hmm. see you in IIT Bombay or IIT Kanpur and uh, uh, Saksham do you think we missed out anything is there anything the last word that you want to give to the students? I'd say like for getting admission into uh, IIT Bombay and IIT, you have to appear for IIT JAM. So if you really wanted to pursue MSc after com after not completing during your BSc, so you really need to work on it. Get in there are courses available outside. You can go in touch get get in with them, and please study. Uh, please take that course from March or April. I'll say like I did a mistake. I didn't take it. I, I'm just directing it. So I'll just uh, tell you to so that you, you can take your courses at right time and you will get admission into IIT job. Thank you so much and wish you all the best, Saksham. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you.